Howdy ho guys, Mark Absalon here and welcome to Spare Change Buyer Reviews where we sit down and we review a coin company whether they're online, offline, whatever and I take my own hard earned cash and throw it down and buy some coins and then I give you my own personal experience with that coin company and I put it on a review so that you can decide whether you want to purchase from them or not and we rate them on a five coin basis. Uh, this coin company we're going to talk about in this buyer review is based out of Maryland. It's called Ken Pines Coast to Coast Coins. They're primarily a website oriented coin shop so they don't have a storefront or anything of that nature. Their website is set up with raw coins, uh, raw rare coins on one side and then on the other side it's bullion like American uh, gold and silver eagles, uh, the spousal coins, presidential dollars, etc, etc, etc. Now they do not have that many slammed coins. I, I would probably estimate less than 5% of the coins they offer on their website are slapped. The majority of the rare coins are uncertified, that means they're raw and Coast to Coast has set up this type of grading system where it's uh, Gem BU, or that's Brilliant Uncirculated, Choice BU, uh, Select Choice, and then down, 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 and that's how they actually do their grading. Since Coast to Coast advertises in magazines like Coinage and all these publications that a lot of coin uh, collectors read, I think it was very prudent of me to purchase from them and give you my personal experience buying these coins. So what I did is I purchased five raw rare coins from coast to coast. One was a 1903 New Orleans Mint Eagle $10 piece at uh, Select BU. Uh, that's what coast to coast graded it as. I bought a 1885 New Orleans Mint Morgan that was graded as a choice BU. I bought an 1885 Carson City Morgan that was graded as a choice BU by Coast to Coast. I bought a 1897 Barber Quarter that was rated a select proof by Coast to Coast. And finally I also purchased a Quarter Eagle or $2.50 um, Indian Head uh, Gold Coin that was rated as select BU by Coast to Coast. So I spent uh, probably a small amount of money to receive these coins. Well, when I actually received them in the mail, I went through them and I kind of disagreed with some of the stuff that was going on with them. So I immediately logged them in, sent them off to NGC, which is a uh, third party grading company and it's one of the most legit companies out there for grading coins. And uh, I got back uh, some results that were a little bit different from what I thought, but this is what I got. Of the five coins that I sent off to be graded, only two of them were actually uh, slapped. One that was slapped was the uh, $2.50 Quarter Eagle Indian Head. I paid $395, something like that for it. I thought it was going to be a 61 because that one actually looked pretty good. But it came back a 62, which on the grading scale, that beefs the price up to about $1,800 on the NGC, uh, NGC website. So $1,800, well, I got a really good deal for a $400 coin. The other coin that came back slabbed was the 1885 uh, New Orleans Mint. It came back as a 62. I, my personal opinion, I didn't think that one was going to be slapped, but it was. Uh, the coins that came back in body bags was the 1903 New Orleans Mint, the legal. Uh, it came back as scratched averse, which I found kind of weird because the scratch is on the reverse, so you would have thought they would put it in reverse because the coin looked really nice on the front. It would have probably graded at a mint state 63 rather than a 62 just because of, of the cheek, how clear it was and everything, but um, when you start looking at the back you see that really deep scratch and you knew it was going to come back in a body bag. I just don't understand why he put it as scratched a verse when it was the reverse that was scratched. But that one came back in a body bag. The 1897 25% uh, uh, barber proof came back as improperly cleaned. 
and by looking at it I could tell that when I sent it out. And the 1885 Carson City Morgan came back and properly cleaned too. I actually, when I got them back, I contacted Coast to Coast immediately. And they, uh, they were very nice. Uh, they didn't ask me any questions as to why I wanted to return the coins, etc., uh, etc. Et and so I sent the coins back to them and I got a refund on the ones that came back improperly cleaned uh, or scratched or whatever. And uh, they were really nice about it. So their customer service was really good. I have to give that five, five uh, coins because they were really good at the whole customer service end of it. And no questions, no nothing. So that was great. Now, as for their payment and shipping uh, coast to coast, it's very tempting to order from them because of it, because the incentive is great compared to other companies on the web. They only charge $5 for shipping any number of coins, and uh, that covers it all. So that's really cheap. It's five to seven, something like that. It's, it's a really ridiculous amount. And you can use a credit card, you can use a debit card, you can use a check, whatever. And the thing about the the debit card and credit cards is they don't charge you a fee for it. So that's another really tempting thing. And their shipping is really quick. They do ship to you very quickly. You, you get it in no time at all. So I, I gotta give them on the payment shipping. I gotta give them five coins because the incentive is great for that. Now overall, I would give Coast to Coast only two coins. And the reason they're getting that is because the raw coin stuff, because you send coins off and they come back to you problematic and yeah, these things are being sold this way without being mentioned, it kind of throws the whole thing into a mixer. But their customer service is good and uh, their shipping and payment options are good. So you gotta weigh your options here a little bit. Now, I'll put their website up here again so you can see it. The question I know you're asking me is, would you buy from coast to coast again? Well, the answer is no and maybe. No, I would never buy another raw, uncertified coin from coast to coast because it's just too much of a gamble. Even though I made out okay on this, I mean, I got my money back and then I had that slider that went from a 61 to a 62, which uh, beefed up the price quite a bit. It's a real big gamble. And lots of times people don't have money to gamble like that. Um, I do think that their bullion side, I would maybe buy stuff from that because they, they've got pretty good prices for their bullion and their American Eagles or Silver Eagles and stuff like that. And uh, it's bullion. As long as it's got the content in it and stuff or if it's uh, the uh, um, uh, spousal issue, uh, $10 pieces, uh, those are all new so nothing could be done to them. I, I might possibly do that and that would be my maybe. But overall the rare coins I would not buy. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, like I said, be careful when buying coins and I hope my personal experience has helped you make a decision whether you will buy from this company or not. Until the next episode of Spare Change Buyer Reviews, I'm Mark Absalon and uh, I'm going to get out of here because I've got some more stuff to do on coinage. Yeah!